You've probably heard of ways to cut calories while dining out. But, are you really willing to pay more money for undressed salads and simple steamed vegetables? So, if that's the case, how can you avoid consuming too many calories when you go out to eat? If you're watching your weight, here are 7 tricks to help you lose weight while still enjoying your favorite restaurant meals. Number 1. Say no to supersizing. You'll save money if you stop supersizing. Even better, order one meal and request an additional plate. Most of the restaurants provide this service for a dollar or two, and it is completely worth it. Then, you can split the bill evenly with your partner. Also, you can order from the so-called appetizer menu. Two people could share three dishes and one dessert, and it would still be a lot of food. Number 2. Skip the bread and rolls. Most family restaurants continue to include a bread basket with each meal. Unless, it's a freshly made loaf or anything very special, avoid it. When you're paying good money for a meal, you don't need to fill up on an average bread. Simply request that it be removed, if you are unable to resist. You may simply opt out of adding a roll to your plate. If you're unable to avoid the rolls, at the very least, avoid the butter. That's correct. Consume it plain. Whole grain bread is tasty by itself. Number 3. Stop ordering drinks. Restaurants make a lot of money selling soft drinks. They sell you a splash of syrup and carbonated water, and pretend to be doing you a favor by charging only $1.29 for a large 64-ounce beverage. Start saving your money. Skip the drink, especially if you're ordering to go. If you're eating it there, request for water, or, at the very least, diet beverages. Never consume fatty pop. Number 4. Eat slowly. What is the hurry? Take it slowly, enjoy the occasion, and relish the flavors. One of the most important skills you can develop to better manage your appetite is the ability to notice the subtle indicators of hunger. If you eat everything in 5 minutes, you will have no idea when you are close to satisfaction. Take a bite and count how many times you chew before you feel the urge to swallow it. Twice, thrice, or four times? Make an effort to chew your meal thoroughly, and your body will thank you. You'll get far more enjoyment from your food, if you let it linger in your mouth, because, digestion begins in your mouth in large portion. Number 5. Avoid visible fat and excess skin. I know you adore the skin, that's understandable, it tastes great and it should, since it's made, entirely of fat. Do you want to lose weight, or eat fat? It's all up to you. Whatever the taste, I'll never eat chicken skin or the visible fat on a steak. You must choose between a split second of pleasure from a delicious flavor and a lifetime of carrying about an extra 40 pounds. I know, this goes against the low-carb crowd's view that fat is healthy and carbs are bad, but I've managed to keep an 80-pound weight loss off my back without dieting as I don't consume any visible fat or skin. That is all there is to say. Number 6. Before you start eating, ask for a doggy bag. As soon as the meal is served, take some home with you, so, you have leftovers for the next day. The majority of restaurants in the United States, provide just too much food. There is no law, mandating you to consume it all. If you do this frequently, you'll quickly realize that, each meal is bringing an extra lunch. Number 7. Request more vegetables. To add fiber to your wraps, burgers, pizzas, or sandwiches, ask for additional veggie toppings. Order a serving of cooked vegetables, or a salad with leafy greens, as a side dish. Substitute vegetables for your fries. If you truly want to regain control of your weight, focus first, on where you eat, then on what you eat, and finally, on how much you eat. How much, where, and what. Consider the following measures one at a time, and observe how easily you can reduce the calories in restaurant food.